reception here in northern Michigan. Maybe it's the snow that's causing it all. Well, it is January 17th. For the most part, all winter long so far, it has been very mild. Very, very mild. But now, it's not mild. It's about I don't know, about 11, 12 degrees outside. It's been snowing like this for a week. And I'm over it. I am completely over it, folks. So first, first before I, I get into the meat of my video, <laughs> meat, I just put a eye of round in the crock pot just now. Uh, smells good already. So there's my bar. And just so you know, I have a doctor's appointment coming up next week. So I'm on the wagon. I've been on the wagon for a whole month, for a whole month on the wagon. What does that mean? Does it mean I'm pulling a wagon? I don't think so. All right, so just hang out with me while I... Hi, guys. What are you doing out here? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? So for the last week, it's been doing this, snowing. Uh, I mean, for the last week... It has been blowing, blizzarding, and whiteouting. Uh, yeah, got my windshield wipers thawed out finally. And the snow's kind of getting deep. It's not all that gets deep around here. So this is where I live in my trailer park. Um, before I get too far into the video, uh, a couple of things I would like to discuss with y'all. Uh, first, a, a, a huge thank you going out to uh, Charlie H. Uh, for the very, very kind donation uh, that you uh, sent me uh, for my coffee and beer fund through PayPal. Uh, it's very helpful for a po guy like me. Uh, secondly, I, I want to talk about all these other YouTube channels where all these experts talk about van life and uh, you know these people you know they have their snazzy vans but they all have a backup plan they have a place to go back to um, and they all are promoting their channel and they're making lots of money on their channel so it's kind of not real most of those videos not real honest not real forthcoming <sighs> and that kind of bothers me a little bit uh, got nothing but honesty in here I'm not lying i'm not hiding anything i'm about ready to retire come july i'm going to be out of a job uh, and i'm thinking about selling my lovely home getting a RV and hitting the road I'd like to go downstate southern Michigan visit my brother I'd like to go out to Pennsylvania and visit my other brother I'd like to do that in the spring and summer I'd like to go kayaking fishing maybe even a little hunting come fall time hunting that's right but in the winter, I don't want this anymore. I don't want it. Get me out. This is not fun. I hear a weird noise. 
Oh, I know what that noise is. That's the lovely sound of a snowblower. I know that sound all too well. So here we are in the Harbor Springs Estates in Harbor Springs, Michigan. Operated by a management company called Aspire. I call them Aspire, like with two S's. Oh. Oh, I bitched about it enough in my last video, um, so I'm not going to do that anymore, but I do want to get out of here. Here's uh, our lovely clubhouse over there. This is our one and only pseudo amenity. We really don't have an, any amenities here. They claim that's an amenity. I don't know about you, but I'm 63 years old. And, uh, I don't know, you want to swing on a swing set at this age in the snow? So there's no pool in here. I told you I wasn't going to bitch about it. So I'm, here I am bitching. Got a nice kitchen in there. Nice banquet facility. But if you want to use it, you got to pay to use it. Not only do you got to give them a security deposit in case you break something, you literally have to pay rent to rent it. Well, here comes our here comes our community manager now. Wave. Say hi. No. Yeah, he works for the city of Harbor Springs during the day. Probably eight, ten hours. I'm sure he works very hard. Then he comes here and works a few hours after work. Uh, you gotta plow, plow out the community and make sure people aren't breaking too many rules. It's a local barber shop. I'm telling you, it's a quaint, beautiful town. I love this place. <sighs> Harbor Springs, looking up on the map. It's a little tiny town. And it's, uh, they often say that it's the, uh, it's God's country. God's country. Well, call it what you may. Uh, if this is God's country, God must be <laughs> loaded because um, it's very expensive to live here. Yeah, even in a trailer park. Get off of your high horse. All right, I'm sorry. This is my friend Carrie's house, hidden in the trees back there. Back behind that little forest in the backyard, he's got a stage. He's got a beautiful uh, park, if you will, with all kinds of ornamental trees and grasses. And at least twice a year, we have a party back there. Musicians from all around get together. Some that were almost famous, some who think they're famous. And me, of course, I am. A legend in my own mind. And uh, occasionally I'll get up and play the bongos. Because <laughs> I'm a bongo virtuoso. So, a bustling little town. Very picturesque, isn't it? I don't get a chance to say hi to people I know, like, love. Uh, among those people would be uh, Nikki and Brian and they're chillin', the chillins, the little ones. They're not so little. Ten years makes kids grow up. And these guys are, these two boys are theirs. 
the big stud muffins down. So. As I'm walking down the street, I can smell wood burning stoves in the distance. Uh, smells so good. Nothing like living in the city. Ooh, slider in the corner. I also like to say hi to Mikey down there in Georgia. Miss you, man. Say hi to uh, Jim Lipscomb. He is the, uh, is, was, is the town jeweler, Diamond Jim. And Marsha, hi to Marsha, hi to Sherry, hi to Lisa, hi to, hello, hello to, let's see, who else, who am I missing? Dennis and Ian, my nearest, dearest friends. Burke and uh, his lovely wife Dean. They live down that road there. Oh, kicking it around the corner. This is where you buy flowers in the springtime. Known as Christian Ronaldo's greenhouse. Very expensive, and there's a overbearing ogre punk kid who runs this. Really, quite a jackass. Sorry, but I had a run in with him once, and that's all it takes. <sighs> he was not nice. He tried to beat my car up. You see, one day I was looking after the Burke and Dee's house, right here, and I pulled up, and these two young lads were uh, throwing rocks at birds that were pecking at, I guess, bird food in their front yard, right down in there. So I pulled up, told them to knock it off, and then... Uh, the punk uh, owner boy, if you will, in the greenhouse came up and he got in my case for getting in the kid's case. I told him to bugger off that he mind his own business. And then uh, he forced his business into my business. So that was my run-in with him. Yep. Oh, here's a local company right here. They like to put these little flags up. Give them a call if you need some snow plowing or landscaping work. Look at this. Oh, dear. Big buck. Beautiful house. I'm telling you, most of Harbor Springs is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Here we got somebody with their little Spartan sign out there. I wonder who they're rooting for. Okay. So we're about 13 minutes into this video. I don't know if it's almost longer than 15, so. So I just thought I would take you for a walk. It's been a while since I actually went outside because the wind has been blowing. It's been in the single digits and it makes everything hurt. <laughs> everything. So I am planning on selling a little camper and becoming somewhat of a nomad. I am Slightly handicapped. Yep, doesn't keep me from working. I like to work.
I like these when you have face-offs with people. You stop and you wave them on, then they wave you on, and then you wave them on, and then what do you do? <sighs> so, we're getting toward the end of the video, and the end of my walk, I'm going to turn around and head back home, and there's no sense in you coming along with me. You know how to get back. This is the road uh, there that leads down to downtown Harbor Springs. Harbor Springs, if you've never been here, if you know what Courier and Ives means, uh, Harbor Springs is like a Courier and Ives lithograph. You see the Christmas scene. It's so scenic and so beautiful. And most of the people are very nice. Uh, I'm getting over the 15 minute mark, but I wanted to come over here and just give you an overview. This is Little Traverse Bay. Go down there about a quarter mile, you are in downtown Harbor Springs. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And beyond the trees in the foreground, you can see Little Traverse Bay. And the trees way back there in the background. Beyond that, probably impossible to see, is the city of Petoskey, all the way across the bay. Okay, if you're leaving town, that's your view. And if you're going back home, this is your view. Thanks for coming along for a walk with me today. This will probably be the last one I do. in the winter for YouTube for you I think you've seen enough thanks for checking in on me thank you for any subs subs or likes I, I certainly appreciate it I'm kind of anxious to see what the future holds Thank you to all, and to all, good day, good day, take off you hoser. It's a beauty way to go. <laughs> okay, I'm back, sorry. <clears throat> it occurred to me that while I was naming names, there are way too many people in my life up here. Um, I can't possibly remember everybody who I'm referring to them, but I felt it necessary to come back and say, among the other people, I already mentioned Bill and Bird and Alex and Evan and Jade. I can't. Barb. <laughs> Did I say Mary? Mary. There are so many people in my life up here who have made a major impact on mine. So I just wanted to come back because <laughs> God forbid somebody feel left out.
you know what, hi to my brothers, Rick and Dan and my mom, Ricky and Court, Ozzy and Ted Nugent. And, you know, I was thinking just a little bit ago, Who is your Elvis? Who is your Elvis? Who is your Elvis? That street, that sidewalk right out there I was just walking down. I saw this old gray-haired fella walking down the road, walking down the sidewalk in a black jogging suit with his dog. Who is that guy? He looks familiar. Shortly after that, I ran out to the store to pick up some vegetables. And as I was walking in, this, this guy come walking out of the store. And it was my Elvis. Can you imagine if you're walking down your street, your street, and Elvis is your biggest, <laughs> absolute biggest idol, and he comes walking down the street next to you? Well, that's what happened to me, except it was Bob Seeger. And all I could do was nod and smile. That's all I could do. What do you say to somebody who's had everything you could possibly imagine already said to them? Just a nod and a smile. He nodded and smiled back and just kept on going. <sighs> Who's your Elvis? Who is your Elvis? Let me know in the comments below and also, have you met your Elvis? Have you seen your Elvis in passing? Literally brushing against each other as you pass? <laughs> Tell me in the comments, will you? I'm the type of guy who replies, by the way. If you leave a comment, if you have a question, I'll answer it. If you got something to say, I'll I'll read it. Hi, Sherry. You can see her car's going. She's working. Sherry has a very short attention span, so she probably won't even watch this whole video. She likes YouTube shorts. <laughs> yeah, I'm picking on Sherry. She needs it. Well, I made it home. Here's my new ride, my new old ride. Guess I better get in there. Thanks again for looking in on me. And once again, take off. To the great white north. But just do it in the summer. <laughs> Unless you like to ski.